advertising is something which has uh, developed a lot over the last couple of years. There's been a lot of changes, particularly with search advertising. Um, but really, what I'm going to take you through is, I guess, not any sort of tips or tricks on how to cheat the system or something that maybe we haven't told you before. Um, going from basic to advanced advertising is actually just looking at it a different way. Um, and it really is about working hard to achieve results. Um, as with other sources like SEO, for example, where you have a plan in place for months and months across the year, um, advertising is no different. Um, and actually, uh, by switching it on and off, on and off, and expecting the same results every time is actually not the best way to do it. You will achieve data in that short space of time, sure. But results, um, you know, in terms of uh, the long-term gains and, and getting the maximum return from it, advertising needs to be looked at as, as a long-term objective, just the same as everything else. Um, so for me, advanced digital advertising is being clear on what an advertising channel is offering you, as well as spending your money more wisely. Um, some of those things might seem quite simplistic, but there is a lot of wastage in advertising. Um, and a lot of that comes through a knowledge gap, and other things come through the fact that the data is held so far back in the system that it's actually difficult to get hold of. Banner Connector are, are, are a network who offer real-time bidding. Um, and where it differs from traditional display advertising is that instead of going out and buying uh, in bulk uh, media and, and image, adver image adverts on a website, um, when actually, in fact, the, in the majority of cases, the reason for that is, is quite a lot of vanity. It's actually to say to someone else, look where we're advertising, instead of actually what data you're getting behind that, what results you're getting. Real-time bidding drills down into those individuals based on their demographics, their behavior, um, and what they're actually doing in reaction to that advert, and then taking that forward. So, direct buyers versus RTB. Websites sell about 30% of their inventory, uh, inventory direct to advertisers. Um, and that's, that's the ideal from their point of view. Um, that's obviously uh, at their standard rate. They then take the remaining 70% and sell it as remnant, um, in a lot of cases, to ad networks. And that's then available to bid on for, for advertisers. Um, now, it's not necessarily brilliantly promoted, because obviously they make a lot less money this way. Um, but obviously that space just goes unsold otherwise. So that's available for everyone to bid on. We take an example, the, the FT here, the Financial Times. When you go on their website um, and go to their advertising section, download the rate card, you get a direct quote for this MPU, which is £95 cost per uh, million impression. Um, so for a £10,000 investment, you get about 100,000 views of your advert, advert. If you go through a real-time bidding network, that will come down to about £5 cost per million, which means you'll get about 2 million views. And the difference there, in terms of actual exposure, is obviously considerable. Um, but it's something that, that is a, a little known fact because it's, it's something which the, the publishers themselves obviously don't want to promote. Now this, is, this creates a great opportunity because not only is this um, something which is a lot higher priced, um, it's also inflexible because if, you, if, you, if the, this, this particular website isn't working for you, there's no chance of getting away from it. You've bought it for a particular period of time until that runs out. With real-time bidding, if you find that this particular advert and this particular space isn't working, you just switch it to another website. Um, so it's not only cheaper, it's actually more flexible. How Ab AdWords can work better for you in the same way that real-time bidding can work better than um, direct buys. Um, here I've got a very simple uh, process, which is structure will drive more leads. You don't need to put more money into AdWords in order to get more out of it. Actually, go back to the basics and understand how Google and other, other networks for that, for, that, for that matter, but Google particularly with Google AdWords, obviously, um, want you to structure your campaigns in order to be more relevant to users. Pay-per-click advertising is an auction. Therefore, the more relevant you are to the auction, the less you pay per click. The structure of your account affects relevance, therefore structure affects pay. 